Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk. This is my review of the Epson Stylus Photo PX710W. Now this is an all-in-one printer. It actually prints, scans and copies all in the one unit. And I'm going to quickly just show you what you actually get with the PX710W. You do get a basic operation guide, so a printed manual just to get you set up with the uh, printer. You also get a quick start guide as well, which just talks you through the connections and the software installation. Uh, you get a small sticker here which shows you some of the uh, uh, basic functions of the control panel. Uh, you get a uh, reminder that you can get Windows 7 and Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard support for the printer. A Wi-Fi setup guide because this printer not only connects via USB but it also offers Ethernet network and wireless connectivity as well. Then there's some warranty information. And then you get a driver CD with the various um, Epson applications that they include with the printer. And you also get a fine reader OCR Sprint software uh, for the Windows platform. I'm just going to show you inside the printer and point out to you that the Epson PX710W actually uses six individual ink cartridges. Now the redesign that Epson have made is a very welcome one. Instead of the ink cartridges moving with the print head, they're now stationary in this bottom right hand corner of the unit. And the ink is then fed via some tubes inside to the print head itself. I think this is a much better design and it certainly makes the printer seem more robust. It doesn't move around as much on the desk because the print head is a lot smaller. The top of the unit reveals the scanning bed and this will scan uh, up to letter size documents. The scanning is uh, pretty good, it's detailed and it scans up to 2400 by 4800 dpi. The results are very accurate, the colour is pleasing as well and you do get some nice neutral scans if you're scanning black and white. Moving down to the paper tray at the bottom of the unit, this is where Epson have added some extra design and functionality. If I pull this paper tray out, you can actually see it's a dual purpose paper tray. The bottom of the paper tray accommodates A4 sheets of paper, whilst the top portion of the paper tray accommodates smaller photo sized paper, up to 5 by 7 inches. This means that you can have this bottom tray loaded with regular A4 paper for printing letters, and then you can load the photo tray up with just the glossy paper for printing your smaller photos. Of course you can also load this bottom tray up with glossy paper too. It's also worth noting that most of the Epson printers do actually print direct onto CD. Previous printers you've had to put a caddy in with the CD to print it, but Epson have actually built in the CD tray into this printer. If I push the CD tray button here, a small grey tray actually comes out of the unit roughly where my finger is, and then into this grey tray you can actually place your CD for printing. A push of the button loads the tray back into the printer and then you can print direct onto the surface of a printable CD or DVD. Also hidden away inside this slot is a tray that extends and this is for collecting your paper as it prints out. You can also add a further paper feeder to the back of the unit which is an optional purchase. It sits on the back of the unit here and allows you to have a third input, which is very useful indeed. I'm going to show you the PX710W actually printing out an A4 full colour photo. Now I've sent this photo printing from my iMac and it's an A4 full colour photo taken at 10.1 megapixels. I'm sure you'll be very pleased with the colour accuracy, the detail of the resulting print and the fact that the Epson delivers these prints so quickly. 
Now this was an A4 full colour and as you can see that printed in about 20 seconds. I've been constantly printing 10 by 15 photos and they always take just under 15 seconds to print. The colours are great and there's a great amount of detail too. The control panel is very cool too. You can actually push this unlock button and rotate it round to a better angle for viewing. It's very well laid out and here you've got an on off button for your power, a CD tray button for making that CD tray come out of the printer for easy loading and then we've got a four way rocker button and this gives you quick access to copying to the photo features, to the scanning and to the setup menu. We've also got a zoom in and out button here for when you're viewing photos which is very useful for if you're printing direct from memory card or from the picked bridge connection. The picked bridge connection allows you to directly connect a digital camera and print direct from your camera. We've also got some further controls to the right of the screen and here I can scroll left, right, up and down and select whichever function I want to use. For example, this is the copy menu. I can click the OK button and within here I can scroll up and down to select the type of copy, the type of paper that I'm using and if I use the plus and minus buttons it increases or decreases the number of copies I'm going to get. And then the last button here in the right hand corner is for going back one uh, to the previous menu. If we go into the copy menu we can also push the menu button and this allows me to further adjust paper and copy settings. And finally the start button here allows me to start the copies going and if I want to stop a copy from performing midway through then I can push the stop clear button. To put the screen back down we simply push the unlock button and rotate it back down into the flush position. It's a very nice design and it certainly works very well. Another cool feature of the PX710W is given away by this icon here. As well as the USB connection, you also get Ethernet network connectivity and Wi-Fi wireless connectivity as well. This is an 802.11n device and I had it connected to my network in under 30 seconds. I installed the driver on my MacBook Pro and was printing wirelessly in under three minutes too. You can even scan wirelessly if you so wish. If you add up all of the functionality that you get on the 710W, then you certainly do get a lot for your money. We've got the pick bridge connection, the camera memory card slots for printing direct from your camera, We've also got the fast copying direct from the scanner glass, plus the numerous ways that you can connect the printer to your computer, be it via USB, the wireless connection or Ethernet. Inks are only around £8 each, so nice and cheap, and the printer itself has an RRP of just £199. If you shop around, you can actually pick up a PX710W for under £170. If you're in the US, it's actually known as the Epson Artisan 710 and it has set you back around about $150. At the time of doing this review, it's actually on promotion. The quality of the output, the numerous connectivity options, the design and build quality means I award this Epson PX710W my gold award. I've got no problem recommending this printer to you if you need a multifunction device that really delivers on its promises. Well, thanks very much for listening. Come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk. This video review is sponsored by Academy Class, the UK's premier creative IT training centre, authorised by Adobe, Apple and Autodesk.